Hey everyone, Healthy Fool here. Hope you're having an awesome day. Today I wanted to come and speak to you about um, arsenic in the food and how to get the arsenic out of your diet. Um, and I don't think you're really going to get it 100% out of rice, but um, I want to do this video because I just did my last video on the health benefits of black rice. And rice is delicious and, and it is good for you, especially black rice, brown rice, and, and probably some of the wild um, rices. But I read the other day that rice does contain arsenic. And I'm not saying all rice contains um, arsenic, but I guess it's, it depends where it is grown and how it's, how it's uh, harvested or grown. And I'm just gonna, of course, gonna be reading from my notes. And arsenic is a naturally occurring mineral. And in some parts of the world, contamination levels are very high in the food and water and cause skin, bladder, and lung cancer. Rice can have large amounts of arsenic. It, it, it is present in all soils and is grown in water flooded conditions and can absorb heavy metals from soil or water than most plants. Arsenic is known as a carcinogen uh, that can interfere with the fetal development um, and it's important to know how to reduce it. And I'm just going to give you a few little um, steps on how to uh, you know, reduce the um, arsenic contamination. Uh, limit the amount of rice that you eat or even if you have, like say if you have cancer right now, I wouldn't recommend maybe eat, not eating the rice now because you know if you're going through your treatments and all that, you don't want to be adding to it with adding arsenic in your diet, and it, and it does it can cause cancer. And you know back, you know when when I found out I had cancer the, for the second time, I ate a load of rice um, because I didn't really have a big diet. I was eating right for my diet, and I was eating a lot of brown rice and beans, and um, and it was causing you know blood sugar problems with me on top of that but then on top of that my body actually got allergic to grains and i had to be taken off of it for a while so i had a uh, a you know a horrible you know i had um you know an acidic diet i mean I, that arsenic in the rice and um just i had menopausal problems too so on top of that i was just a, a disaster so but um at least I went and I, I did a cleanse and and did all that and I got off rice for a very long time and I just eat little bits of it but let me get back to what I was telling you so definitely um, limit the amount of rice that you eat uh, try alternatives like barley grits polenta and couscous but if you have to have your rice um, do what the Asians do what they do is they rinse it thoroughly before it's even boiled so rinse rinse it thoroughly or even soak it for a little bit and then uh, when you boil the rice add um, extra water than you than the directions say because you want to get that arsenic to absorb in the water to get it off the rice to absorb in the water and even like after you uh, drain it. I mean, I don't know if it's, it's, it may be mushy if you, you know, rinse it again after you boil it. Um, but definitely white rice will get very mushy. So definitely thoroughly, um, you know, rinse that white rice and I would just boil it with a little bit extra water because you really don't want to take that chance. And plus white rice isn't good for you anyway. So it's just going to convert over to sugar. So it's probably best not to even eat it anyway. Um, let me see where I am here. Okay. And don't use brown rice syrup as a sweetener because nowadays um, brown rice syrup is in a lot of healthy um, items like healthy protein bars and all these oatmeal things. But um, of course, the rice is going to be concentrated in the syrup. And so definitely try to avoid that. And, and become a label reader. Make sure you read your labels. Make sure you, you see, you know what's what's in your food, what you're putting in your body. I, I have been a label reader for about eight or nine years and it's really helped my family out a lot. And it's helped, helped me to understand what, what they're putting in the food. And I know that they can't list everything that they put in the food because the, the label would be humongous, but definitely, read read your labels and know what you're putting in your body because if the word is so long and you cannot pronounce it and it has a long shelf life then it shouldn't be in your body because we are i, I read the other day that we are already partially embalmed they don't have to partially they don't have to embalm you fully anymore because of all the preservatives and chemicals that are in our bodies today 
Okay, and don't give your baby too much rice cereal. I mean, or not at all. You could switch to oatmeal uh, or mixed grains and maybe you should you can use sweet potatoes or squash instead because let me tell you my kids grew up on rice cereals and, and stuff like that so watch that too with your, what you're giving your babies and other foods that can have arsenic of course your and drinks of course water can have it um, arsenic can taint your drinking water especially well water so I would advise you to get your water tested especially if you have well water and fruit juices like apple pear and grape juice can have arsenic um, apple seeds naturally have arsenic in them so i wouldn't advise juicing a whole apple make sure you take the seeds out or eating the seeds because they do contain arsenic naturally and avoid using if you still ha have to have juice you could water it down half and half or even you know more water than juice and make sure you have are using safe water that doesn't have arsenic in it so just test your water and then just water down your juice and i tell you my kids um you know i have used weak uh, juice for them for many years and my nine-year-old still drinks half and half he's so used to the like the weak taste <laughs> i think when he gets like full juice he's like whoa this is what i've been missing but <laughs> but but that's fine but you know that's what i've been doing for them and i mean of course my 14 year old he's not gonna want to water down juice but i just make sure i i see how much they're drinking but um but that's it i just wanted to to go over this with you and um just make sure you know you just watch out uh you know cook your your rice with more water and and just stuff like that but okay i hope you're you're doing well and you have an awesome day and god bless you and i will see you in my next video so please um see my um go to my my blog it's eatrightforyourlife.org and i and i'm going to be um I already typed out everything for my blog, so all the stuff I just said is going to be on my blog. And you can also check out my other um, blogs that I've, I've posted. But that's it. You have an awesome day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.